guys i am back big of eu's market biz okay so in this video i am going to share with you again um use updates right that more and more countries are adapting to blockchain right so let's start okay so we got this news update at preferred currency news or pcn.today okay so if you are bored and if you are tired and if you would like to read the latest articles on cryptocurrencies then this is the right website for you okay so it's called pcn.today okay so here is as you can see so many articles that you can read to all right okay so let's go to the main update so here it is so korean government pilots blockchain for logistics innovation in country's largest port okay so two south korean government ministries have launched a blockchain pilot for port logistics innovation so according to a press release from the country's ministry of science ict and future planning or msit published december 18 msit together with the ministry of oceans and fisheries are reportedly testing whether the technology can make korea's container shipping industry more efficient as the press release outlines the pilot will run over a period of one year in the port of Busan, the country's largest port and the fifth busiest container port worldwide. So the initiative aims to ascertain whether leveraging blockchain technology can successfully increase transparency between all parties in the logistics industry, streamline administrative processes in import and export operations and allow for real-time data sharing so both ministries have reportedly been collaborating on the project as of early this year as part of a blockchain technology development strategy it's officially announced by msit this june okay so as reported other core pilots and the strategy are planning across are planned across the fields of real estate, online voting, livestock record management, customs clearance, and international e-document distribution. The strategy overall aims to raise 230 billion won, about 204 million dollars, by 2022. If the shipping logistics blockchain pilot at Busan will prove successful, both ministries plan to expand the initiative across other ports nationwide. As reported in June, South Korea has this year announced a partnership with the United States State Department to strengthen the two countries' cooperation in advancing the so-called Fourth Industrial Revolution. Okay, so let's read further and let's wait for it okay so here it is so the term has been given by the world economic forum or wef or wef to indicate a series of technological breakthroughs that will fundamentally alter the way we live work and relate to one another across the global polity the wef notably recognized blockchains major role in the revolution as early as 2016. So in other major news for blockchain and the shipping industry globally, this August, IBM and Danish transport and logistics giant Maersk launched their global blockchain-enabled shipping solution, which counted 94 participant organizations and 154 million shipping events already captured at the time of launch. Okay. So this is very, very nice. Two South Korean government ministries, that is the Ministry of Science, ICT and Future, or MSIT, and the Ministry of Ocean and Fisheries. Okay, so they're testing um, a blockchain pilot for port and logistics innovation. So as you can see, Korea is adapting to blockchain technology uh, which is very very nice okay 
So that is the first um, news update that I shared to you. Okay, so the next one is this one. So Cointex rolls out mobile BCH services in Bangladesh. Now services 30, 38 countries. Okay, so Cointex has launched internet free mobile BCH wallet services to users in Bangladesh. The announcement comes following the recent rollout of Cointex services in many new regions, bringing the total number of countries now available to access the company's services to 38. Okay? So Cointex launches BCH services in Bangladesh. Cointex, a BCH wallet provider that enables users to conduct Bitcoin cash transfers without internet through text message, has announced the launch of its services for Bangladesh citizens. A press release published by Cointext cites GSMA's findings that Bangladesh had only 21% mobile phone penetration and a meager smartphone penetration of just 5.4% at the end of 2017. Okay. According to GSMA, Bangladeshi mobile phone adoption is expected to roughly double by 2025. Cointext founder and chief technology officer Vin Armani described Bangladesh as comprising the ideal country for his company, stating, Very few people have smartphones or cellular data in Bangladesh. Cointex enables basic feature phones to access international currencies like Bitcoin using SMS. Following the introduction of services to consumers in Ukraine, Italy, Colombia, and Dominican Republic earlier this month, Cointex now services 38 nations, including those located in Latin America, Europe, Oceania, um, Asia, and North America. Okay. So crypto and DLT gradually see greater adoption. Since reports emerged in 2014, asserting that Bangladesh had prohibited the use of Bitcoin, Bangladesh appears to have softened its stance regarding cryptocurrency, with the country's central bank issuing a cautionary, cautionary notice during December 2017. Okay. Okay, so let's wait for it to load. Here it is. So earlier this month, the United Nations International Terrorist Emergency Fund, or UNICEF, announced that Bangladeshi startup W3 Engineers will be among the first distributed ledger technology, or DLT, companies based in emerging markets to receive investment from its from its innovation fund. W3 Engineers is one of six emerging DLT companies that UNICEF has announced will each receive 100,000 in funding. According to data recently published by Mineable, Bangladesh is among the cheapest countries in which to mine cryptocurrency, with a single BDC estimated to cost 2,379 to mine. Okay, so those were the two main updates. As you can see which are very very um, nice and guys if you want to read further then please visit pcn.today and of course please also don't forget or mean keep in mind that you will receive a newsletter if you subscribe at this website which is called preferredcurrency.news okay so preferredcurrency.news for $15 a month or $180 a year so which is very very Nice and very very great deal for only fifty cents a day, fifty dollars, fifteen dollars a month, or one hundred eighty dollars a year. So guys, if I were you, please check this one, uh, okay? And if you are, I mean, if you have problems or if you want to ask questions, please contact contact numbers here listed. All right. So I think that's it. And guys, uh, before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor. And everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell cryptocurrency. You must always do your own research before deciding for yourself. Okay, once again, I am not a financial advisor. I am not I am not saying predictions here. This is just my opinion. So you must always do your own research and you are the one handling yourself. Okay? So I think that's it. So guys, um, if you like this video, please... Uh, 
press the like button and also please subscribe at my channel and press the notification bell so i think that's it and i see you on the next video see you tomorrow rather bye bye